Okay, we've got our formula here, and I'm using this one. I'm going to make a whole number of these and see which one uh, works out well, sort of thing. So I'm just going to put this on my knee as as I've sort of learnt how to do. It's a little bit precarious, but yeah, it's probably too precarious. Maybe uh, well, I need something on a slope, don't I? Anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, maybe put it to one side down here. Yeah, how about that? We are on, we are on sort of night scene foliage macro. Can you actually see me doing that? Yeah, I think you can just about see me do that. So, you know, another one, another win for the camera, I don't know. So, I'm just going to measure this out. It's fairly well done there. And put that in there. And that's one part like there, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to... Yeah, just drop it in there sort of thing if it will actually go in straight in there or not. there we go in there like that uh, okay we'll put this back down here again if we can do it and do another one because i said i want to do two in here like they seem to be about the right amount for this I've, as from experience as i said you start experimenting and then you start learning things and and you get into a procedure sort of thing and so we do another one there bring it down here and I might just scrape this one off, it'd be easier. So, make sure we get it in like that. Okay, and uh, the usual thing, start mixing it into the surface, just to the surface throughout, and uh, get it started that way, and then then you, then you mix it throughout, and you know, start spreading it around, and giving it a thorough mixing and it does this quite well and it should stick to the cellulose of the saturated cat litter sort of thing and then I'm just going to leave that in this container but with the lid on and just let it to fester and mature sort of thing and see which ones actually take up the cyanophyta fairly quickly and which ones keep promoting it sort of thing because it seems to be a little bit as I said <laughs> growing cyanophyta is harder than you think it is you know it's not as simple as, you know, do this, 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 it doesn't always work out. As I said, we've got a bit of a shot for an old theory. And I'm still having trouble, even though I know exactly what I did before. <laughs> you know, it's harder than you think it is, so, uh, yeah. There's something there, and I can't quite figure out what it is, and I'm going through all these experiments to try and figure out what it is. Something really, really, really subtle, I think. And I haven't quite worked out what it is, but as I said, once we get into this sort of stage where we just keep plugging them out, plugging them out, going through, sorting through, trying to work out what it is that's the, the key point. There's a key point there somewhere. And uh, and look at that. Now it's been thoroughly mixed in. You would not know from a casual glance, if this was peat, you know, that anything has been mixed into it. You think that was just, if someone said to you that was, you know, had, had sand in it, it was just peat and sand, you'd be so gullible, wouldn't you? You'd just think, oh yes, that looks like it, you know? But the trick would be whether it's growing any cyanophyta or if there's any cyanophyta in any um, perlite, if it is actually perlite that they put into these things, because I've messed around with perlite and uh, it doesn't seem to do the things they say, do they? Whether it's different types, I know there's different types of vermiculite, coming from different continents, some acids, some alkalines, or something, whether there's a difference with the perlite or something. But anyway, that's that. And now we just uh, maybe do another clip.